All right, guys, so in this video, I will teach you a very easy method on how you can find your monthly, weekly, and daily bias. This has to be the easiest way, and it literally requires you to only look at your charts for, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, and then you would know that where the market is gonna go to uh, the next day, the next week, or the next month, okay? So before we start, we will have to talk about external liquidity and internal liquidity, okay? So let me draw this out. So any high or low is considered to be an external liquidity, okay? So this right here is gonna be external liquidity, okay? And this right here is also external liquidity. Now, what is an internal, internal liquidity? It is basically a fair value gap in the discount or premium, okay? So let's say if price takes out this external liquidity, which is this high, you mark out the fair value gap in the discount zone. So how do you find your discount zone? You draw your FIB from the bottom to top and anything below the 0 0.5 level is considered to be in a discounted zone, okay? So price does only two things, okay? It either takes out external liquidity and goes back and seek the internal liquidity or it goes to internal liquidity and seeks external liquidity, okay? So in this example, you can see price took out the external liquidity, which is this high over here. And afterwards, after looking at the lower time frames, and I'm gonna teach you how, uh, you then determine that price is gonna go down, okay? So the next target, if that pattern, um, you know, happens on a smaller time frame, then you can anticipate and say that price is going to now go for the internal liquidity, which is going to be this fair value gap, okay? So this right here is internal liquidity, bracket, FVG. Very simple. And similarly, you can see that if we have something like this and this, so price takes out this high over here, and we mark out our FIB from bottom to top, where is the fair value gap? The, re the recent fair value gap below the 0 0.5 level, it is going to be this. So now, after looking at the lower time frame, we can anticipate that, okay, price is going to draw on, uh, draw on this fair value gap. If the fair value gap is partially filled, like let's say price goes up, there was a fair value gap, price touches, and then goes back to external, then that fair value gap is no longer valid. Okay, that internal liquidity is already taken, so we simply just went from internal to external. This is how you like determine your daily bias or weekly or monthly. So what do we look for on a smaller time frame? That now that is the main question, okay? So I'm gonna start with the monthly time frame, okay? So how you can determine your monthly uh, bias, okay? So let's say on the monthly price goes ahead and takes out external liquidity around here, okay? And you see a fair value gap which is the internal liquidity in a discount zone. Now watch this very carefully. When you are looking at the monthly, when price takes out external liquidity, right? And you have internal liquidity in the discount for this example, of course. When you're looking at monthly, okay? You drop down to daily time frame. Okay, so when you have a external liquidity taken out on a monthly time frame, what you want to do for is now you have to drop down to daily time frame. Okay, daily time frame, remember. And simply, you look for a clean market structure shift. So let's say there is a there is a low here on a daily time frame. We took out the monthly external liquidity. We have the monthly fair value gap, which is the internal liquidity. You wait for price to take out, um, do a market structure shift on a daily time frame. Once that happens, once the body closes below this low, once you have a market structure shift, boom, that is your go-to sign that, okay, my monthly bias is now going to be bearish until this level is filled. So once that market structure shift happens, you can simply look for my patterns so basically you have my abc pattern right you can simply look for that you can use the 8 30 a.m strategy that i've already taught on this youtube channel you can literally use anything that is going to be your bias okay 
If you want to learn about my strategies, there are tons of videos on this channel. But right now, I'm only talking about bias. So once you have a market structure shift on a daily time frame, that is your, you know, your sign. Okay, we are only going to take short positions until this Fibonacci gap gets filled. I hope that is clear. Let's move on to the weekly bias. How do you determine a weekly bias? So let's say if this is the external liquidity taken out on a weekly time frame, and this right here is internal liquidity, right? Perfect. So after price takes out the external liquidity on a weekly time frame, and you have a fair value gap, which is your internal liquidity in a premium. So you determine your premium discount zone by drawing the fib from the high to the low. And if it's the fair value gap is above the 0 0.5 level, that is a valid liquidity level. So now once you are on the weekly time frame, you look for market structure shift on four hour time frame. Okay. So once you get a market structure shifts, there's going to be a high around here, right? When price takes out external on the weekly time frame, you drop down to the four hour time frame and look for a clear structure. And what happens? Price takes out that structure. The body closes, body closes a must. Then after that, you just simply look for price to take out sell side liquidity, right? So let's say you have a market structure shift. I can give you a simple model. Price creates a, you know, a liquidity sell side. Price takes out the sell side, goes up. Price takes out sell side again, goes up. Price takes out sell side again, goes up until this level is hit. Now here's the thing. It, from external to internal has a higher chance, okay? So if you are going from external, so let's say this price takes out the external liquidity, right? Then price has a higher chance going into that fair value gap. However, when we are going from internal to external, that requires a very strong bias, okay? So I highly recommend you go from external to internal, but internal to external works as well. I would just say it has a low um, strike rate. You know, your bias could be wrong uh, a bit more, if you are going from internal to external, so let's say price comes into your favorite gap and you anticipated that this external liquidity is going to taken out, it's going to be taken out. Uh, there is little chance that you might be wrong. Okay, but this has high probability external to internal. So you can see we do look for a market structure shift on a four hour time frame when we are looking at the weekly bias and after onwards we can look for, you know, any of my trading strategies, tons of videos. As I said before, this is only for finding out your bias and of course I'm going to give you a couple of examples as well so don't worry now the main part of the video how do you determine your daily bias so simply we will look for the same pattern so we have you know external liquidity taken out a fair value gap in the premium the one you are on a daily time frame you simply want to drop down to drop down to one hour time frame Simple as that. You simply look for a market structure shift. After price takes out external liquidity, you simply look for a market structure shift on one hour time frame. And after after that, you can look for patterns that look something like this. You know, sell side taken, boom, sell side taken, boom, and vice versa. So that is it. I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples and then I'll end the video. All right, guys, so here is example number one. I'm looking at AUD, USD on a monthly time frame, and I'm going to go from monthly to daily with examples, okay? So as you can see right here, what do we have? We have external liquidity. So this is a high, a clear high. And below here, we have a fair value gap, FPG, right around here, okay? And if you use the FIB tool from the bottom to top, you can see that it is below the 0 0.5 level. So as soon as this liquidity is taken out, external liquidity is taken out, we simply drop down to the daily time frame. Remember on the monthly, we go from daily, uh, from monthly, we go from monthly to daily, okay? So now we are simply looking for a clean market structure shift. And right here, what you can see, we have this low created and price broke through this level. And as you can see price here onwards, we have a fair value gap, right? And this is our draw on liquidity and let's see what happens okay so your monthly bias was since bearish you could have only taken sell positions very simple guys so you can see there was fairly gap you could have looked for a setup here on the lower time frame i'm not going to teach you right that right now because of course this is a video about your bias okay 
so you can watch a lot again <laughs> i'll say it again because i know there might be some people would say you're, you're not teaching how to enter and, and exit there are tons of strategies you can imply the same patterns once you have your bias okay so if you have your your bearish bias you can look for the patterns that tell you to go short simple as that and as you can see price takes out the liquidity and right away we have a clean momentum to the upside right so as you can see we had a clean shift in market structure right here and here onwards then we seeked this everybody gap on a monthly time frame and if you go to the monthly you can see it looks something like that all right guys so here is an example for the weekly bias so as you can see we have a purge on the external liquidity right here which is a high and where do we see the Fairvalley gap this right here so in this example i would draw my fib from the range low to the range high and you can see it is below the 0 0.5 level so we are good to go now from here onwards what you simply want to do when we're looking at the weekly we simply want to drop down to the four hour time frame and look for a market structure shift and right away what do we have we have a shift in the market structure and from here onwards your draw on liquidity is going to be this okay so your bias is now set to be bearish for I don't know for a week or until this level is taken out so let's go back to the weekly time frame right here and if I play this through you can see that we hit our draw on liquidity right here so this is very powerful okay you you, you don't understand this when you when you're going to use this with the trading strategies that I've taught you on this YouTube channel Bro, trust me, your win rate is going to just skyrocket. And I'm not even kidding here. I'm just basically telling you, giving you this, you know, the secret sauce. So now we have the weekly example. Let's move on to the daily example. And this is going to be very, very interesting. All right, guys. So this is the last example. In this example, we're going to look for our daily bias. And from here onwards, after watching this video, you will have a complete understanding on how you can easily find your monthly, weekly, or daily bias, okay? And this is gonna set you on the right path. Before I move to the example, I wanna talk about my community. Uh, for just $97, one-time payment, you can join my community, and you can also get the course where I teach secret stuff. So when you join, you get a private Discord server where I share my own trades, basically I give out signals, and we have an awesome community of successful, successful traders. And you can then get these SMC basics. So if you're a beginner, you get this and all. Then you have my trading strategies. I'm gonna and I go in detail explaining each strategy with examples. And then this is my favorite part, end game. I teach most of the ICT concepts here, and that is like the that is the only thing that you need. And this right here, trust me, it is insanely powerful. And this one, my favorite. So there's some proof here. You can see uh, some people pass the challenge and all. Uh, there's only few here because I want to keep my website clean uh, and then some stuff here but I do not want to waste your, waste your time let's get on with the video and please this is not necessary you don't have to buy my course there are tons of videos on YouTube and that alone can make you profitable I'm not even kidding let's go to the example so right here you can see we have the external liquidity so we have taken out the external liquidity and let's go forward where is the fair value gap can you notice where's the fairly gap that should be our draw on liquidity? I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. If you saw this, then you're absolutely correct. So right here, I draw my FIP from range low to range high, below the 0 0.5 level. What do we have? We have this tiny fairly gap, and that should be our draw on liquidity on a daily time frame. Okay, so now from here onwards, let's remove the fib let's go here actually so now what we do is we simply drop down to the hourly time frame which is going to be one hour and we simply look for a clean market structure shift and just here you can see we have a market structure shift and this is the draw on liquidity and as you can see we fill the fair value gap and look at that beautiful one thing you can literally use this model by its own like you don't need to go on a smaller time frame once you have a market structure shift you look for entries from the fair value gap auto block whatever your entry model is but i recommend using my strategies 
uh, by, by you know looking for those patterns so maybe you could have looked for an ABC on a smaller time frame or the 830 and 930 open trading strategy the Judas swing whatever comes to your mind okay so yeah guys this was it uh, go and back test this and you see that market only del delivers the price this way there's no other way okay and you can see we have a market shift beautiful fairly gap and price goes into the 50% of the fairly gap which is I teach that if the fairly gap is way too big you go for 0 0.5 level anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next Sunday so basically the schedule is set I'm gonna upload every single Sunday so expect more quality videos I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye there's no kiss today just kidding bye bye